Hi, I'm Daniela and this is Jocelyn. Thanks for coming back to our channel. In this video, we're going to share our week 18, 19, and 20 pregnancy update. We'll talk more about where the babies are developmentally and how moms are feeling. At 18 weeks, your babies now have the ability to yawn and hiccup. They are becoming very active, so within the next few weeks, if you haven't felt your baby already, you probably will soon. The baby's nervous systems are quickly maturing, and they now have the full ability to hear. And vernix starts to form, which is a cheesy white substance that goes over their skin to protect them from the amniotic fluid. This way, they don't look like a wrinkled prune when they come out. At 20 weeks, you're five months pregnant and officially half-baked, the babies are roughly the size of a sweet potato, and if you're having a girl, her uterus is fully formed. If you're having a boy, his testes are still in his abdomen but will be descending soon. So that's what's going on developmentally with baby. Now let's switch gears and ask mom how she's feeling. <sighs> I'm feeling great. Weeks 18 and 19 were really great to me. I feel like I was just living my best life. What do you think? Yeah, your energy was back, morning sickness passed. Mm -hmm. I felt happy, I felt glowing, I was like in my pregnant glory. And then um, week 20 came and I'm still very happy and glowing and you know, all those fun things. We were finally able to have our 20 week anatomy scan, which was a huge milestone for us. That also helped us determine what the genders of the babies were, which was very exciting. It was awesome. A huge disclaimer about the anatomy scan is that these scans take a little bit longer than your normal ultrasound. And in our case, it took much, much longer. Yeah. Generally with a singleton, they say it can take about an hour to an hour and a half. Um, they scheduled us for three hours and we definitely utilize every minute of those three hours. Um, we had to take some small breaks so I could reposition my back and Nerves were really killing me laying on my back for so long. Um, we had a really patient technician who was so kind and took care of us, but she was so great about showing us every single part of the baby. And we even got to see some of their little personalities, like baby A, we learned, is like a crazy yoga baby, just doing flips the entire time, and then was getting involved in everyone else's pictures as well. They each have their own Sack, if we haven't mentioned that before. They are tri-tri triplets, which means they have their own placenta and their own sac, which is the safest high-risk triplet pregnancy you can have. Yeah. So they all are separated, but we learned that the sac in between each of them is very thin. So they are getting involved in each other's business already it looks like um <laughs> maybe snuggling we'll say or some you know bouncing around throwing elbows is definitely going on in there at 20 weeks i was like oh this is amazing i'm really big but i still feel really good still feel like i have a lot of movement and agility and then 20 weeks one day i, I wake up and i'm like oh boy feels like i rode a horse for like six hours yesterday or something crazy like that. You know when you like ride a bike after not riding all winter long and you like go on a long bike ride, that feeling in between your legs? That's what I have, it's a lot of soreness and at some points it's a sharp pain, which was described to me as lightning crotch. Didn't know that was a thing, but. This usually happens towards the end of pregnancy, but since Danielle is growing three times faster, it's not surprising that it's happening sooner for her. Exactly. So I called my doctor and they were like, it's probably because the babies are growing so rapidly. There's a lot of increased weight and pressure on your ligaments and your pelvis down there. And baby A is really, really, really low. Like on my pelvis, when we were at the ultrasound, like she was basically like at my cervix knocking on the door. Um, not knocking yet, but you know. <laughs> um, so that's what they're thinking. Um, I started wearing a belly band or KT tape to help um, hold my stomach up a little bit and alleviate the pressure as well my chiropractor has been helping me stretch out those ligaments and working with me there so I have been feeling a little bit more relief since that day it started but um, I, it is a little bit uncomfortable between 
even weeks 18, 19, 20, I'd say indigestion is getting pretty tough. Baby C is pretty close up to my stomach. So sometimes when I eat, I feel like, oh, really bloated, like I'm having trouble digesting. So we've been working on having small meals that are like less aggravating to me, less acidic types of things. Um, also, up until now, I haven't really been able to feel the babies. Today we're exactly 20 weeks and five days. And I think like between yesterday and today is when I started to really notice that maybe I'm feeling them. Um, everyone's surprised that I can't feel them already, but I do feel like some bubbly gas, like it feels like my guts are turning, but like no gas is being produced. So I'm pretty sure that's them. I feel a lot of movement in the area of A, a small amount of movement in the area of C, not a lot of movement in B yet so far. Um, they think it could have something to do with the way that the placentas are oriented in there with them, but, um, I'm anxious to feel them more, but also not. <laughs> I have heard that babies are more active at night. Bella wasn't. She was more temperature sensitive. So if I was standing by the stove, she would start moving. Or if I was in the shower and the hot water was hitting me, she'd like start moving around. I remember you telling me that. So I always pay attention in the shower. And I do take pretty hot showers, but like I try not to, like I go put my back to the water so they're not like frying up um but <laughs> they're not cooking these eggs in there but um yeah I've been I've been trying to pay close attention and just see what's happening something else I thought was so interesting at our anatomy scan is that they were like opening their mouths a lot and like I guess the text said drinking the fluid like maybe she just like opens her mouth like baby A opens her mouth fully wide it looks like she's singing a song or screaming, however you want to put it. We'll put some pictures in there if you guys want to see, but it was actually really funny to see. I think baby A is going to have a lot of personality. Yeah, we're hoping she's our little Kristen Bell. <laughs> Singing, Singing, dancing, performing for us already. A new thing that also started is Daniela has been talking in her sleep and <sighs> snoring more, which I, I thought was an, it was an interest, it's an interesting thing that's happening. Yeah. A couple times in the middle of the night, I'll wake up like, wait, what's wrong? What are you saying? And then I can just hear her continue to mumble. And then she wakes up like, wait, what? So that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if that's pregnancy related or not. but I mean, I used to talk a lot in my sleep, but I feel like I stopped. That was like when I was having really broken sleep back in the day. But like... Now your snoring's giving me broken sleep. I'm sorry. I never <laughs> snored before that I know of unless I was sick. Everything's getting pushed around in there. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. I just keep hearing myself. Like I've woken myself up a couple of times going like, mm, and I'm like, what, what am I doing? <laughs> so, um, sorry. <laughs> but oh, hopefully that stops. <laughs> so overall, we're still really happy and feeling good. Um, despite our moaning and groaning and slight pelvic pain. Um, we have three healthy babies kicking around in there. Hopefully we continue to feel them more and more. We can't wait to update you about our 21, 22, and 23 weeks. Stay tuned. See you soon.